Hi guys, welcome back to another QJS video. And in this quick tutorial, I'm going to share with you a very simple but an effective trick for generating a shapefile of a world map without actually having to go to any external sources. And you could do all of this within QJS itself. So once you open up QJS, you're going to see a blank screen like this. And if you head down to this box, which says coordinate right over here, and if you just type world, well, you can basically select all the numbers right here and just type world and then hit enter. And voila, just out of nowhere, you will see that a world map appears. Well, of course, it's not appearing out of nowhere. If you head over to this layers panel, now you would be able to see that it has been added as a separate layer. And if you would like to inspect the properties of this layer, what you can do is you can just right click and go to properties. And when you open up the layer properties under this information tab, you would be able to see some important information regarding this particular file. For example, if you're curious about the file type, you can see right over here that it's of the type .gpkg, which basically stands for GeoPackage. And also if you're kind of curious, where do we get this file from? Well, this file gets stored in this particular location when you install QGIS as a fresh installation. So it's a file that actually gets installed by default. So you can check that out as well simply by clicking right over here and that should open up that window so this is where this file has been stored world underscore map dot gpkg and now the cool thing is that you can actually use this file to do all sorts of things for example if you would like to get started by maybe exporting this file to a destination of your own to have it as an s3 shape file well what you can do is you can right click over here and go to export and go to save features as and from here, you can see a wide array of different file formats to which you could actually quite easily convert this file. Now, in my case, I'm just going to convert this into an S3 shape file. And we can select the file name right over here. And after I navigate into my working folder, I'm just going to give this file a name. I'm just going to call it world map and click save. And right over here, you can see that automatically it adds the extension .shp. And the coordinate reference system, I'm just going to retain it to be EPSG 4326, which is basically the EPSG code for WGS 1984 Geographic Coordinate Reference System. And after that, I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. And with that, you can see that it actually gets added as a separate layer onto my working space. And now if I check the properties of this file by heading over to properties, now you would be able to see that this file is a .shp file and it's stored right here, just as I specified. All right, now let's take a couple of minutes to inspect some of the features and some of the attributes, which you can do by right clicking over here and you can open up the attributes table. And right over here, you can see a number of different fields. And immediately you can see that the one that's going to be quite useful for us is going to be this field right over here, which is this name field, which basically states the name of each country. And as I told you guys, you can use this file for all sorts of things. For example, if you would like to maybe export a number of selected countries into a separate shape file, you could do things like that as well, simply by going to this uh, select features by area tool. And after that, let's say if I just wanted to handpick maybe a number of different countries like Brazil and maybe a couple of countries around Brazil like this. And now all I have to do is just right click over here and go to export and this time i'm going to select save selected features as again head over to your working folder and this time just add a name selected countries and that's going to get saved as a shapefile as well which ends with shp and click ok and now you can see that just those selected countries gets added as a new layer onto my working space and if i deselect these two background layers now you can see that this set of countries are by itself and if you really wish to do so, you could even display the labels of these countries as well, simply by heading over to this labels tab right over here. And we can go ahead and select uh, single labels. And if you can recall, the label that I wanted to use was under this field name, name. So if I select name and click apply, you would be able to see that the name of the country gets displayed in this manner. And before we wrap up this tutorial, if I were to open up that working folder of mine, you can see how those set of files actually look. So all the files which forms the shape file of the world map that I generated are right over here. And right next to that, you can see that the latest shape file that I created, which corresponds to the selected countries, 
appears right over here as well. So guys, if you have been wondering where to actually obtain a shapefile of the entire world, now you can see that you don't really have to go to any external sources. All you have to do is just head over to this coordinate box and type world and this sort of world map would appear from one of the files that gets installed when you install QGIS. So if you do have any questions about this tutorial, add a comment down below and I'll see you guys again with another tutorial soon.